Welcome back now to the latest on coronavirus. Dr. Kara Chris holding a teletown town hall this evening to specifically talk to those living in parts of the county with low vaccination rates. Our Cody Lee brings us the report. Millions of Arizonans have been vaccinated with very few adverse reactions reported, according to Arizona's top doctor. So we know the vaccines are safe. They have gone through rigorous studies by our federal partners. This COVID-19 vaccine is, has been held to the same safety standards as all of the vaccines we use. Um, and with any medication, there are some side effects. Your immune system is going to respond. That's exactly exactly what your immune system is going to do. However, some are still hesitant to get the shot and are nervous that they could have an allergic reaction. There's very few ingredients and the only contraindication really is an allergy to one of the specific ingredients in the um, in the vaccine that required somebody to get epinephrine or, you know, but caused anaphylaxis. So your throat closes up, you can't breathe. Another question locals are wondering about if you contract COVID-19, how long do you wait to get the vaccine? Normally, if we recommend if you just had COVID and it was a mild case and you were at home, we recommend that you wait the 10 days um, after you're diagnosed or after the onset of your symptoms so that you don't pass it on to people at the vaccination site. But if you were asymptomatic and you just showed up and we didn't know you had COVID, we would still vaccinate you because it's that important. Dr. Christ also touched on how long the vaccine is effective for. What we do know is that it's at least six months at this point. What we're anticipating is we may need a booster every year like we do with the influenza shot. Um, I know that some of the drug manufacturing um, companies are looking at having COVID and influenza combination shots, so you only have to get one. Reporting in Yuma, Cody Lee, 413 on your side. Taking a look now 